Hello there and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to discuss about Boba Fett from Book of Boba Fett. Well, I have made reviews on each of the episodes from this show and I was going easy on this and in my other videos, I have said I did like this show because I am a fan of Dev Filoni from Clone Wars and Rebels and his partnership with Jon Favreau in Mandalorian also was pretty good. So I had faith in them. But after Book of Boba Fett, third episode, I felt like Jon and Dev are Done. They used all their skills in Mando and there was nothing left. And then came episode 5 and man, the drastic difference in the quality of storytelling, directing, even set design looked impressive seeing the space city and Mando flying his new ship seems such a refreshment from the 4 episodes on Sandy Tarvin. This show has been like Bovet watched the Godfather movie and trying to do stuff as he remembered on the top of his head. Well, he has a bad memory problem. I don't like the direction this show took by not going chronologically and showing the flashbacks abruptly and having two different timelines which are not connected at all. Like there is no connections or importance of the flashbacks in the present day and both are pretty underwhelming. The only thing I wanted to enjoy was the escape of the star like pit which happens in the first episode but uh, this happens within just minutes and looks so easy and doesn't make Boba Fett look badass or something. It just makes Sarlacc look weak and that was hooked us in and fails miserably. The way the Mandalorian started, it was a bar fight and Mando looked like a badass bounty hunter and got everyone hooked for the show. I'm not saying Mandalorian season 1 and 2 are perfect, I'm just saying they are good enough and people were happy after saying that. The Mandalorian was like the perfect Boba Fett show. A badass Mandalorian bounty hunter going on a bounty hunting and made allies and foes on the way. It was pretty simple but the show conveyed the story it wanted to tell. But this show tries so much to be multi-layered but nothing works to be honest. If I go on episode wise rant then this video will be me calling the show bad for an hour but no one cares for that, either do I care for that. All Star Wars fan wanted was a good show for Boba Fett. He doesn't even have 30 minutes of screen time out of 3 movies in the original trilogy and had an everlasting impact compared to this pile of crap. I can't say this show is completely bad because there are some moments I did enjoy it but the good scenes are clouded by a plethora of mediocrity. Well only theme I really enjoyed was the background score and the theme and that's it. If by some miracle you don't know about the Power Rangers meme that's going around, well this is something that happens in episode 3 which was like Cyberpunk meets Power Ranger featuring Boba Fett and after this well I'm more interested in seeing Fennec Shan going on about her works cause Boba is toned down for the Disney plot and is like, is like a sim who believes everyone and there is nothing cunning or ferocious about him. Boba Fett is a sad old man who is trying to be the godfather but fails miserably. This video is a bit longer than my usual videos so if you like this then please hit the like button and if you don't like this, well you cannot see that dislike button so let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, now back to Baba. The first and the third episode are directed by Robert Rodriguez who seems to be not so good at action scenes cause the first, the first episode was pretty bad in terms of action. Well, Boba is defeated by a Tuscan woman and then kills a huge monster. His power seems to be inconsistent and then once again when he was surrounded by those ninja like guys, they completely overpowered him which was like really inconsistent and then in the third episode Robert Rodriguez gave a shout out to his corny humor while the Spy Kids style returns with the cyberpunks and we all know that even great Keanu couldn't save cyberpunk so Mr. Rodriguez, how can he do that? Anyway, jokes aside, the fifth one is directed by Bryce Dallas Howard whose directing seems to be much better than Claire in Jurassic World. If you know you know, jokes aside, she really did turn the dial up to 11 in this episode with two good action scenes. I don't want to spoil it but well, 
you get a Mando versus another Mandalorian, and there is Mando versus Clutonians, and damn, this episode is really good. I really enjoyed this. So if you like the Bubble Street show, let me know why, and if you don't like the show, let me know why also, and if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I will make more videos, hopefully you will like those, anyway, just, just subscribe.